Hey everybody, this is Dan T2. Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Squeak Squad. Why do I have so much trouble saying that name? I don't know. But we're once again level three. Could level three. This time we're going to three five. Three five only has one chest, and oh, this level. That was kind of cool. We're in the storm clouds now, obviously. And these storm clouds, when you use electricity on them, create giant electricity fields. And it's kind of cool. It's kind of the gimmick of this level. And actually, this is where I want to break that UFO out. That UFO I got before, if you don't know where it is, I'll go back to, uh, I think, two videos ago? Or no, last video. Uh, I got it there. This is extremely handy for getting the soul chest in this area. It's right there, see? But the thing is, it's running away from us on that cloud. And if you don't get to it in time, it'll fall down the pit. UFO helps immensely with this. You can do it with, some, well, you can do it with other things, but I prefer just to use UFO. Because it makes it incredibly easy. And saves a lot of headache. That's tornado scroll, nice. Anyway, we're going on to the boss now. Boss and our crazy saucer. Trust me, you're going to need the saucer for this. Ooh, I should probably grab that. And I'll grab this and mix it with the electricity I got last time. Make a second high jump, woohoo. Perfect, just perfect. Actually, that's really good. I have two high jumps to the tornado. Exactly the kind of backup I need for this boss. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Make my day! You thing, eyesore. I forget what your real name is. I'm gonna call you eyesore. Because you are an eyesore. You're an eyesore to me. Go to hell! No, no, no. Jeez, I'm taking too many hits. Fire! Come on. Swoop back around. Because I can't change directions while charging. Huh, it's almost over. I almost got him. Almost got him. It's almost over. Or is it? This is way too easy. This can't be him. It's an imposter! Of course! I should have known! Of course, this imposter now has electricity power! Jeez, and I lost my UFO. This could be bad. This could turn really bad really fast. Luckily, he gave me a solid platform. Um, I'm gonna pause here. Essentially, he can make multiple platforms. The, the one you saw right there is a normal one. He can also do uh, one like it, except with uh, smaller platforms off to the side. He can also do a small series of uh, individual platforms. This is pretty much like the second best idea. High jump is really good against him, especially with the ability because it makes you invincible during your jump. Oh jeez, I could this could turn bad. Alright, let's try tornado. Invincible state. Yes, I did it! Oh, jeez. Took a lot out of me. That's actually probably the hardest incarnation of Eyesore that I've ever fought, and yet it's not him at all. Mainly because it's a double battle, you have to fight him twice. And, like I said, that second half can tear you to shreds. Uh, I'm gonna switch my color scheme and be back in a second. And now we bring in the introduction of one of my favorite color schemes, orange. Mainly because my favorite color is orange. And it's probably my second favorite color scheme. Favorite color scheme with my favorite ability. Oh yeah, this is going to be a good episode. Eyesore, or whatever the hell his name is, is dead. I am happy. And I am tearing stuff up with cutter. All in all, pretty good day so far. 
Shut up, my health isn't below three below a quarter, below a quarter. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, here we have to do some more cutter antics. First, I want to grab fighter. Because that will close pretty much immediately, so you gotta get it right on the money. And fighter dog. I will not lose to you this time. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Not with Cutter, I'm not. And post transformation invincibility. Yeah, I gotcha. Come here. Got fighter. Uh. Let's use up this abilities item. Uh, let's use up this ability item. Because I really don't have a use for high jump after this for quite some time. Of course, of, of all the items I could have gotten, I got the one that I can't really use. Alright, now our laser ability area. Right? This one's kind of cool. I like this one a little bit better than the last one. And what we gotta do here is bounce that and explode that. Lots of spikes here, lots of blowing stuff up. Lots of fun. Also, it helps that our laser is actually a laser color this time instead of some green thing. It's orange, like us. I would be so sad when we move on to the next level. And then so happy when we move on to level after that, because it has probably my third favorite color and play games and play games first favorite color. And I have to admit, I like it too. Like I said, it's my third favorite. And actually, it's my favorite area. My favorite world. I'm calling them worlds. I'm calling each level levels. Even though it's probably reversed. You know, am I shooting through the wall? Huh. If I'm right next to it, I can shoot through the wall. Glitch! A little bit of a glitch there, my friends. A little bit of a cool glitch. Uh, shit, I have to drop something. I'll drop the max tomato. I'm gonna regret that later, but what? I have four lives. It really doesn't matter. And I regenerate lives every time I save and quit, so if I really run out... Also, it really doesn't matter if I run out of lives, because the levels are so short, and I know them by... And I know them by heart. Uh, let's throw you out for right now. I know some of these have good stuff in it. The middle one has the chest in it, which we will see in about a second. I think this one? Yeah, this one has sword, which is what I was kind of looking for. As you see, the middle one has the chest, and squeaks. Random. Magic. Not exactly good, not exactly bad. Yeah, let's grab as many of these as I can. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, cutter. Uh, let's activate fighter. I kind of want a copy ability for these upcoming areas. Anyway, let's see what these three chests contain. Did I just spend an entire part on one level? Huh. That's gonna become common later. Ooh, we got Shadow and Graphics Piece and Bubble Scroll. Uh, that's spray paint Shadow, by the way. Shadow's pretty cool, if a little bit... Uh, I don't know. I don't think the black is dark enough on him. There's another black uh, spray paint that I like a little bit better. But I may use Shadow for the next uh, area. Anyway... Uh, I will, like I said, I think I'm just gonna cut it here, make this a single part, uh, single level part. This is probably gonna become more, uh, recurring, so get used to it.
Uh, I will see you guys next time. Let's play Kirby Squeak Squad as Kirby makes Street Fighter poses.